This is the M2 capping station replacement video. A couple tools we'll need is an Allen key set. For this one in particular, we're going to need a 2.5 millimeter. Um, we usually recommend that you have what we call a ball ended or a ball tipped. Gets you at an angle so that it's not perfectly shaped this let's say so in this example we're gonna have to take this locking solenoid out and with the ball ended I'm able to angle this a little bit and get this off Just be careful that if this screw falls, make sure you push up against here and you can slide this out while holding this. This way it doesn't go flying everywhere. Okay, this way I'm, I'm pushing up against it. Okay, and this will come out in one piece. Then we're going to go and switch over to our number two Phillips. The first one we're going to use it on is our spit pad here. Okay. One more here. The spit pad just comes right out. switch over to our capping station. Um, this whole assembly here, including the wiper blade, the actual porous pad here, the pump, is all one unit. So we're going to have to take out the actual frame piece because these two screws here and two in the back are what hold the capping station in place but it is mounted. Um, later on you'll see that we'll disassemble it using the screws here, here, and then on the flip side. But let's go ahead and take the frame out first. Okay, so we've taken out the two mounting screws for the bracket. Now we're going to go to the rear and look at that one now. Just to double check exactly where it is, all we're doing is going right here, okay? Right behind the pressure pump reset, okay? We have our pressure pump board and our rail. Okay. And right here, we have the other two mounting screws. So we're gonna take those out. Now that we've taken out the two mounting screws in the rear, we have one here and again one here. Now the actual physical capping station, if we move it, it will move. And this whole assembly pops out. Now before we take that out, we have two things we need to do. One, we have these bunch of cables here. So I'll go ahead and I'm going to lift this tab up. You see these tabs of cables. Okay, I'll lift this up, take it out. Now that we have these cables undone, we have this gray and single blue cable here. We want to go ahead and disconnect this cable. like that. Now this is a coupler and this might come off as well but we do not want to take it off. We just want this bare piece. If you notice on your new capping station you only have this piece. Just in case, 
this piece comes off as well, you will have a male to male end, which is why there's a coupler right here. Okay, so just double check. Now from here, we're going to take out one more cable, try to get a good shot from the back. It's going to be this black, orange, red cable that's attached to your capping station. Okay. If we go over here, you can see that is plugged in to the rear back here. Now depending on how much slack you have, you may be able to pull it, but generally it's easier to reach in from the back, go through here, and take this out. and that will be the cable. So there are many ways to take out the capping station, but I find the easiest way to do this is go ahead and pull this straight up, like so. Okay. All right. You have a little bit of room with the wiper blade here, okay? And basically, we want to make sure that this back side gets clear. So you can push in just a little bit. You have a little bit of room. And you might have to swivel. And then that plate will get out. You see this whole plate here. That'll, that'll clear. Now, there's a whole other back piece here that needs to, that needs to clear. Um, I usually twist. this so that it goes actually into this giant hole. Okay, so you can go ahead and twist that in and it'll twist out like so. So it's really just trying to work with here. Uh, luckily the M2 is a big machine so there's many different ways. Um, obviously don't try to force anything. Um, it will just slide out. So again, you have a lot of room to work with. Okay. And we have our capping station. So here we have our capping station, all bare. We're going to go ahead and talk about how to take the frame off. Very simple. I'm going to go ahead and insert our screwdriver in these slots right here. If you're wondering what these slots were for, same thing on this side. Now we're going to flip this around here, and we have two more on the underside. And now we have the screws out, and this just slides out here. Just like so. Again, this piece <clears throat> is not going to come with your capping station. Okay, this is going to be separate. What you will receive is this whole piece. We do need to change out the wiper blade. Okay. So we're going to take a look at that. Your old wiper blade has these hooks down here. So I use dental pick, you can use the hooked or the straight, for this one I'll use the straight, so basically you're going to dig in here, unhook that, go into the second one, unhook that, so those are out, you can pull straight through, there you go. These loops hook onto this tab here, and this tab here. Okay. Now I take, this is also a good way to clean off your wiper blade.
Now that we figured out how to take out the wiper blade, we're going to replace it. Now if you notice, the wiper blade has a curve. It's curved that way. Okay. So the curve will go towards your capping station here. Also, if you notice, on your wiper blade, there's a little spot where it has a notch. See that there? A little notch. That lines up perfectly with a notch right along here. A little cutout. Right along here. Let's try to fit it in here. Get most of that in there. Then you could go and loop them back around the teeth. Okay. And then make sure your wiper blade is straight. Shouldn't be bending or bowing. It should not. Yeah, it should be just fairly straight. Okay. Now for the mounting bracket. Okay. If you look at it from this point of view. That is how you see your capping station. Okay. And of course, this side goes over here. Okay. Now, this piece right here is going to fit in between right here. There's a little, see that? There's a little space right in between there. There we go. Good angle right there. <clears throat> so, um, yes, I mean, you can start any way you'd like. You can start putting this over here on top. Okay. You can try to slide this under here. Okay. And then this will go in between here. Okay. And this will remain on top. Okay. However, way you need to do it, that would be the way to go. Now this is where two people would come in handy. Um, the first issue that we face with capping station changes is that we have one. There's a slot right here. See that? And this this raised edge right here. Now this is supposed to insert perfectly like that. But what happens is this gets stuck just barely. I know it's hard to see with the camera. But this is just barely raised. And I can fit my dental pick right there. Okay. Now if you can see the difference between that and that, this is completely straight. It's, n it's not, it's not stuck bowing up a little bit okay ever so slightly it would have to be completely flat okay so that's the first thing now you have to hold this while trying to screw in your mouth so usually two people would help but the there's a second part if you flip this around we have our underside all along this bracket there's this raised circle that would go into into that one right there and same thing it can't be like this or like that or, or too far down too far up it would have to be right pressed up against it so from here you can go ahead and hold it this is where my, my stubby comes in if you don't have anyone helping you out, okay, you can get it started. Okay, let's screw that down. And again, these go from the underside up. Okay, so don't get confused. They don't go uh, top side down. Now while I'm doing this, I just again want to reiterate, 
if your frame is uneven then when you go to install your capping station when the wiper blade retracts outward again you have that spit cup right here if this frame is tilted then your frame so this is your frame it's gonna it's gonna hit with your wiper blade and you'll get a grinding noise so this is your spit cup you notice how it's not straight okay it would have to be straight versus like that so that's what the frame would have to be straight for okay so now that we have this we have a little bit more room if you're doing it by yourself again I'm gonna make sure that that slot is perfect for the most part it won't go anywhere because we have the the back side all screwed down Okay. so now that we have that again I'm gonna usually I don't know if anyone uh, can see but I'm, I'm pinching the sides here when I was holding it Okay. So just give that a good pinch All right. same thing over here I'm gonna pinch this down Okay. and again getting this by yourself is a little bit tricky so you're gonna thread that through and you're going to start screwing that down. Okay, all set. Do a double check. Making sure there's no space right there. In between my bracket down here and the mounting plate there. There's no space. Okay. Same thing over here. Okay. If you check underneath. Space, there's no space. Okay. So we're good to go. Got my wiper blade on there. I have my Y connector down here. Okay, and let's go ahead and replace it back on the machine. Okay, here we are back in the machine. We're gonna go ahead and install our new capping station. We change out the frame, put the wiper blade in with the Y connector. So again, you're gonna need to thread this cable through this groove there. It goes in flat. Okay, so bring that up top side. Okay. All right. And again, any method, I like to go in head first. Okay, and I'm going to see where I'm caught in. Okay, so I see I'm caught right here. Okay, and as well as right here. Okay. I'm going to have to pull this back out, tilt it, get this side into that, okay, and then this back side will clear. There we go. Okay, so just use that large gap to your advantage. Now, depending on your machine, you may have a lot of slack for this orange cable orange black red cable okay so to go ahead and put that in we'll bring the camera down here okay. you can one install it in first all right and then in order to get this here you can lift it out a little bit so you have a little bit of slack for it okay Tilt it over to the side, put that in there. So we can do that. It's a possibility. I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. Again, just double check that there is a flat side, and then right here there's a little notch. Okay. That notch goes up, so if I were to insert the cable, it would be notch side up. Just like that. Okay. Might be a tight fit here. If you can't do it, you might need some needle nose pliers. Uh, if you don't have enough slack, um, we can go ahead and do this before we install it and let's say we had it 
it here in this position, okay? Obviously, if you had a lot of slack, you can go ahead and install that right away. Okay. Once it's installed, so you have the capping station out, I can go ahead and maneuver it back in, no problem. Okay. The other thing to watch out for is making sure that this back side is clear. There's no cables underneath. It's easy for some of the hoses to go underneath here by mistake. So just watch out for that. Okay, we don't want anything coming underneath underneath here. And of course we have to connect our blue gray cable. Okay. And get that plug back in. Okay. From here on, pretty simple. We're just gonna reverse what we did. Okay. With the uh, with the four screws. Okay. I'm gonna get this some level. We're lining up. Okay. Match up. Line up the holes. And I usually make sure that I have all four in before I, I really tighten them down. Okay. And we'll skip uh, with the magic of video to the end. Okay, so I did the rears, did the fronts. Okay, give it a give it a wiggle, make sure everything is good. And then I'm going to tighten them down. Now, finally, we have our spit cup here. Again, this spit cup goes right here inside that. That's to your waste tank. Okay. And these, this is made of plastic here, so please be careful when you screw it down. We don't want it too tight or else it'll crack. Replacement is not expensive, uh, of course, but don't want to spend money where we don't need to. Okay. Trying to make sure that this is aligned. And you can also, you know, double check and make sure if this is, let's say, too crooked, like that. And if I and if I look, my wiper blade will re reach and extend, and it'll actually hit that. So I want to make sure it's really straight. Push on this edge, making sure it's straight. <clears throat> it's not a moving part, so it doesn't have to be super tight. Okay, just want to talk about this locking uh, solenoid just for a second. Um, there's a little bump down here, which is supposed to align The hole right there, which is to ensure that it doesn't doesn't swivel. Um, it has a little bit of give, so sometimes it goes like this, sometimes it goes like that. Uh, but once you get the bump uh, directly into the hole there, it'll be okay. Um, you, we want to make sure that that bump is securely inside there. Just that little groove, just make sure it's completely inside. So we're going to get our two and a half millimeter Allen wrench, which putting this back in again with our ball ended. Okay, see the ball ended tip will be much easier to put in. Okay, so first I'm going to align this up here. I'm going to push on that screw while I hold it so I don't lose it. I'll line it up. Okay. I'll get it fairly into where it needs to go. It's not going to be perfect. You might lose it like that, but again, I'm just making sure that I get a few turns into it if possible. 
This can sometimes catch the first time, sometimes it'll take a little bit. Once you get it to catch, it's fairly easy. Boom, there we go. Now, make sure that's in the groove. Okay. This way the lock is not moving a whole lot. Okay. I'll visually inspect. Okay. And We'll go ahead and lock it in. The very last check to make sure that you have a good seal is to pull from the waste tank. And how that's done is like this. Okay, just to explain what we're doing. Basically, we have our Y adapter. These are two hoses that go up to our capping station. And we have this grommet right here. So this piece goes directly over your syringe. Just give it a quick twist and there we go. You can push, pull, whatever the case may be. We're going to do that on our capping station. So let's go over. I know it's not going to be a lot of light or to our waste tank. piece here, right there. I'm going to hook up my syringe. Now, once you hold this, we're going to slowly pull on the on the capping station and we're going to see if we get a good seal or not. If if right now I start pulling and it just pulls like that, I can actually hear the air through the capping station. So, that means one of two things. Either the capping station uh, seal is not pushing up against the print head, maybe there's something else uh, in terms of the installation that went wrong, or possibly the print head is on level. Once you have a good seal, when you pull, it should be fairly hard to pull, and the plunger well, actually, once you start pulling, it'll it'll it might it's gonna wanna go back upwards, okay. So when you start pulling, and, and if you and if you let go and the plunger goes up a little bit, then you know you have a good seal. Um, it should not just pull straight like that. And if you let go, then of course there is going to be um, all that waste ink into the dampers. Okay, so when you hook it up and you pull your syringe, again, we don't, we don't want to let go of it, but if you pull and you feel some resistance backwards like that, then you know you have a good seal. But if you pull and all you're pulling is just air and air, 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 then you know there's something going on. And after you've tested it out, make sure you put your hose back into the metal funnel. And that concludes our M2 capping station replacement video.